Hello guys, welcome back. Another tutorial how to install TWRP on Redmi Note 8 Pro MIUI 11 Android 9. Before this, I am doing it on the MIUI 10. What phone is this? Redmi. Let me not eight. Let me not seven. This is a pro. Very big. Clear back. The sticker inside the glass I remove. Not seven to camera, not eight for camera and not eight pro for camera at the center. Forty eight megapixel, forty eight megapixel also, sixty four megapixel. I will do more video between this two, not seven and the not eight. Is it what you upgrade from not seven to not eight? For me, if you want a good camera, yes, you can update to this Redmi Note eight. And one more thing that surprised me when I tried to unlock the bootloader, I just received the device uh, a few hours ago. When I try to unlock the bootloader, bootloader is already unlocked. I don't know what happened actually. But before I start, uh, switch on the phone, my, I insert my SIM card the sim card that with the number that i used to log into my me account when i'm logging and when i'm log into my me account with that maybe with that uh, sim number i think and then when i try to unlock it I see device already unlocked. This is still new, still in a box. <coughs> I already make a video a bit. I'm unboxing everything when I try to unlock it, and it's already unlocked. So I abandon the video. Never mind. Okay. On the Redmi Note 8. This is MIUI 11. 11.02. And the version are MI. That means uh, global. My original ROM come with this device. A uh, EU version. The European version. I press the passport ROM to try the global version. It's work also, and it's not rooted yet. If you see the recovery, now I'm booting to my recovery. Takes so long to reboot. Poof. This is a stop. Me recovery. Okay, straight away reboot to system. All your minus volume button 
to boot into fast boot. Now we are in a fast boot. The procedure are the same as before. The question is whether Android 9 MIUI 11 can be installed in WRP and root this is my folder that contain the ADB driver all the file necessary for installing the recovery as you can see uh, this is the stock recovery cannot zoom anymore my me recovery this is a stock this is the stock boot image for the rom in case boot loop i already stand by boot and the uh, stock recovery this is the lrtwrp okay we are already in a fast boot so just point your cursor inside the folder here on your keyboard hold the shift button hold shift and on your mouse right click it down open power shell window this is window 10 on window 7 you will see open command prompt here on that on window 7 okay my twrp i already renamed to twrp for easy to type you can rename to whatever name you want that's up to you so type fast boot flash recovery space and then the recovery name i already renamed my recovery to twrp and then dot img twrp dot img and then hit enter now it's flashing you see the ok there all right back to the pawn Straight away, boot to TWRP. Hold your volume plus and the power button until it reboot. Don't remove your finger first. Still holding. Right. Now release the power button. Still holding the volume plus. To boot, it take time. First boot. Still holding. Don't release it. same as before my video it will reboot again still holding now now you can release the volume plus button that you hold wait now it's reboot again this is the second time okay you can release the volume plus the procedure are the same sometimes you have to change the language on your first boot okay what you are going to do first if you want to delete the, the file for to, the file that create a stop recovery from boot okay I mount my system back and then add one go to file manager just go to system root and then system again hope you can see 
inside the system there is a file recovery from boot if you want to maintain the twp you can delete this one hold it and delete so it won't replace your twp you, you can also don't delete it that's not a problem if you don't delete it but you must have root okay back to home now add fun again this sign boot and the cross ABB this is the DM parity check tick one also okay tick two also no problem swipe after that back home and then advance again now we root it install root swipe that's it okay reboot the system when you boot loop flash your stock boot image of this uh, ROM the ROM that you use still boot loop flash the system image via T uh, no no via fast boot the magis inside the TWRP uh, 19.4 version where are you still not loading wait a few seconds until it refresh come on TWRP eh, not TWRP the magis yeah there. 19.4 for me i don't use this version it's okay to use that version even the 20.1 no problem but if you use gl tool then you will get good loop that's the file manager okay uh, i want to flash my magis 19.2 reboot hold the volume plus Okay. Another tip from me. Let's say you want to flash uh, a recovery ROM, not a fast boot ROM, recovery ROM. The ROM that are uh, flash by using recovery. First thing you do, get one wipe. <coughs> wipe the big wipe data wipe cache and system and back home again wipe again format data yes and back home and then you install the rom let's say you are from the indian version want to try the global version you flash that global version then reboot don't install magis first reboot to the system first let it boot do the setting everything and then one more time you have to install the twp again for routing just remember that don't straight away 
install magis after you install rom you are in trouble if you are doing that so now i am installing magis 19.2 is 19.2 about the uh, orange spot recovery and yeah, there's no need for you to install it if you want to try it's up to you because at the moment we don't have any custom ROM If there is a custom ROM that are specific for Redmi Note 8 Pro, yes, I will show you how to install the T, uh, install the recovery and how to use it, how to flash. That if we have the custom ROM for the Redmi Note 8 Pro, at the moment. The ROM uh, not exists. It's not because of the lack of development. That's because it's hard to unbreak the Redmi Note 8 Pro. Okay, let me install the GL2 file manager. SD card GL2 install install anyway a lot of thing you can do with this GL2 if you know how to use it GL2 allow take this tree and install after that it will reboot if you use magis 19.4 when it reboot you will get boot loop see why I want to use this GL2 one of it the reason are to unlock the highest setting on the PUBG one two three use a template Arduino 630 from the Arduino 630 you change to 640 okay now my PUBG can play HDR Extreme. Okay, that's it. My video for today. And Redmi Note 8. I'm very lucky. It's already unlocked. Mm, or maybe due to my account? I'm not sure. I can't get the answer for it. 48 megapixel. Even can see the dust. sharp enough compared to the 64 what the different 64 and oh yeah and 48 
41. Shuffle. Maybe I'm not focus it. Okay, one more time. I try to focus. Nope. Still the Note 8 Pro are sharper and more detail, but the color Note 8 Pro more accurate. The color it's almost red. Not it a bit pink, almost pink. How about? Write me not seven, the forty eight megapixel. Focus on the ultimate. Oh, very clean. The color almost accurate, but compared to not eight. more or less what can i say this one better i think in term of color the note 7 more accurate hmm okay that's it my video today stay tuned for the next video